Hey, love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody's doing blessed and doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family, thank you for just walking, uh, walking in your journey and, you know, educating yourself, knowing more about your, your beloved gift and being able to embrace everything that comes towards your way um, and being able to let go of things that are no longer serving you with peace and love. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe even. Uh, hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. If you're comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I would love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you're just up, tell me about your empathic gift and how it impacted your life and hit you towards a positive direction. Also, if, um, <clears throat> if you feel like the videos gave you good vibes or good information that you would love to share with a loved one, family, or friend, or, um, or even a fellow empath, I almost got stuck, y'all. Even a fellow empath that is going through some really trying times right now and needs confirmation and validation towards their, their life, please go ahead and share. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites, wherever you see fit. Thank you once again for stopping by my channel and showing so much love and support. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And today... A beautiful message I mean beautiful meditation music I'm listening to it's called six hours of chakra meditation balance healing positive energy chakra activation I will post that link in the description box below and today my video is about twin flame 101 uh, hey Oka's source and universe is waiting for you to make the bold choice on your next steps um, my girl, uh, Jess, uh, Jesse, she was making a video and she, um, she was saying some really, you know, good stuff on her videos yesterday. Um, and she, uh, uh, allowed me to go ahead and come up with some good content with certain things that stuck out to me that she said. I was like, oh, thank you, Jess. You know, I always love talking to my, um, love bugs or just anybody. And then certain things stick out to me that I need to address or need to come, you know, that needs to come through, a message needs to come through that I need to talk about that has really helped a lot of people. So thank you, Jess, for helping me with certain, uh, with these couple of contents that I came up with for, for today. Um, being able to make that bold choice, you know, because it's not meant for us to stay in that rotating wheel or going through that rotating door. You know, like if you go to a department store, you have to go through that glass door and it's just then going this way and this way. And, you know, even though you might be stuck there for a minute, it's not meant for you to stay there long. You need to learn what you need to learn, being able to accept what you need to accept, learn what that situation has taught you so you can be able to make peace with it, part ways with peace and love, and be able to go on with your life, being able to, you know, embrace the unknown, being able to embrace the gifts that has been placed upon you, being able to know more about yourself. Because, I mean, it can be scary. We think we know ourselves until we really get to know ourselves. There's things that we 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 start noticing more we open up about our past lives knowing that there was uh, a thing that I was supposed to be taught or I was supposed to teach others in my last life I didn't have a chance to so they're allowing me to do it in this life and it's just like every every life that we have lived in the last millennium of years or whatever we we also we must, must have the way I feel about it is just my opinion it might not be correct but I feel like we have had to go through so many lives to make a certain impact in a certain way. Even though we made the impact, but we didn't make the initial impact we were supposed to. So that's why we had to come back and do it in the next life. And we didn't do it in that life, so we had to do something else and so forth and so forth and so forth. So it's just the universe is, you know, it's free will. Like when people you know, ask me, hey, Rosalind, can you, you know, can you talk to this person? You can talk, I can talk to anybody, but it's up to them if they want to make that bold choice to either staying in that dark place and allowing themselves to sulk in whatever and having a pity party, or are they going to stand up for themselves and say, you know what, enough is a daggone enough. I want to be free. I want to be happy. I want to be drama free. I want to get out of this situation. You know, when you're, you're able to make that first step, 
and make that bold choice of no longer wanting to be in that dark place, no longer wanting to be repeating the same sad situations and being able to promote yourself to a higher level, being able to see the things that you are supposed to see, being able to acknowledge the things you are supposed to learn from that situation. Yeah, we have been hurt, we have been abused in so many different directions, and it's heartbreaking that we had to go through these things, and it, it's just like this life was the most hardest one because we've been doing it for so, so long that before we came to this life, before we were even born, we made that initial contract saying, you know, I want to put myself in the roughest, toughest situation so I can blow the whole lid off of it, and you think about the situations you've been in and then you think about the uh, yeah things were bad in them other lives but this is the most intense life you had to live because we are breaking the generational cycle you know generational curses and the uh, karmatic cycles that are going on so sorry about that y'all um but going through all those different situations being able to learn what you need to learn be able to educate yourself as well as others around you you know we're supposed to be able to learn something very big coming from this life you know if you feel that way i would love to hear your your feedback on that part or anything that towards my videos i love it when y'all um engage in the conversation when it comes to the videos and stuff like that um but being able to teach yourself and things that you weren't able to teach yourself in other lives and being able to see the things you weren't able to see before you know of course you know you, you get to that point where you feel emotionally and mentally tired you're drained because you're tired of going through all these things like i've said before of course you're going to feel that way because you've been going through them for so many umpteen years you've been you been playing in this crazy life for so long and then you finally got this most intense life that you really went through hell and back a few times and baby able to be able to probably have frequent fire miles so being able to know that you're making that bold choice to move on making peace with whatever you need to make peace with learn whatever you need to learn and be able to let go of things you know in the most gentlest way and be able to say you know what this was a hard time for me but you know what i've learned a lot from my mistakes i can be able to heal a lot from in ways that i never thought I would be able to heal from from the situations i've been in and it's taught me so much so now since these things have taught me this i can be able to move on and make that bold choice for my you know a bigger and better future so being able to go through all those different things is truly a blessing you know even though you know we've gone through really a lot of bad things a lot of bad things that you know y'all told me about and it, it breaks my heart to know that y'all endure situations like that i would not wish that on my worst enemy on the things that y'all told me that i mean there's a couple y'all not naming anybody you know they know who i'm talking about um have really been through some hard times and it really took me a few you know when they drop lines like that it took me about a few days to get even respond to situations like that because it was so detrimental and heartbreaking you know to even have to grasp that concept that people have really went through some really hurtful things and like i told them I've, i'm sending angels towards your way because there's no there there shouldn't be a reason well even if it is you know for you to be able to heal being able to close that chapter in your life close that whole book of horrible actions that's been placed upon your life from birth until now because it can really cripple you in the most heartfelt way to make you want to put walls up make you not want to deal with people make you trust people less you know and just think about you know if god was real why would he allow these things to happen and you know we, we think that way at times like why were these things allowed to happen in my life if god really cared about me you have to understand god will put you in the midst of the storm so you can be able to be appreciating of the rain i'm serious and i mean there's times i've questioned god all the time and that's not good to do but he understood the reason why we felt the way we felt you know i, I there's many days finding out the things that i went through and losing people that really cared about me and then knowing you know the closest people to me is the one that was trying to hurt me the most and trying to make sure i didn't get to see my happiness get to see joy because they they you know they were intimidated by those situations you know i understood those things being able to make peace with it even though my my um my uh situation where it keeps on making me relive certain situations you know i i just choose to let it go it's just like what can i do there's nothing i can do to change it there's nothing i can do to change that those people they have to do that on their own but i have that right i know 
that I can live through that and being able to change myself, being able to either give myself a pity party and feel sorry or being able to grow and learn from that situation. And I choose to learn, you know, be able to get growth and education from all these different things that I wasn't able to know before all these situations happen you know, I went through I, I felt like I was doomed from the womb I tell people that real quick I was doomed from the womb a lot of us feel that way you know as soon as you came out of the womb you, I mean you already had to deal with hell already so yeah, I mean being able to learn and grow from those things and being able to educate yourself as well as others is a true blessing because you know when you can take a traumatized experience and, and convert it over to a positive outcome that's what it's supposed to have done that that's what it was you know, God was not mean to hurt us or anything like that. But sometimes we have to have our lives in a total shock or disarray for us to be able to appreciate and learn the things we were supposed to know about ourselves that we weren't able to see before. So I hope you were able to resonate with the content of this video. So much love to you. I forgot to give my post notification shout out in my last video. I just thought about that after I got ready to type it up. I said, you know what? I didn't give a post notification shout out. But my much, much love to everybody. Trap Town, Daquan, Bradley, Elena Carter, and Spirit Girl. Much love to you. I hope you y'all all have a blessed, safe weekend. I hope everybody has an all blessed, safe weekend. Know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved. And knowing there is always somebody out there praying for your better days. I pray for better days for you. Sending angels your way to help you heal in ways that you never thought you would be able to. And be able to be able to enjoy and embrace the happiness and love that's coming towards you as well. So send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. Know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved. And knowing, you know, things are coming your way. And so now as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. Yes, I know I said that twice, but, you know, I felt like somebody else really needed to hear that at that time. So drop me a line. Let me know, you know, if you, uh, your opinion on my video. You know, I'd love to hear your feedback from this. You know, like and subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Share. Uh, hit the notification bell and subscribe. And I'll see you on my next video. Be, be safe. Peace and be wild.